Enjoying a day on the water in your canoe or kayak? could start costing you. The state is exploring a registration system and fees for non-motorized watercraft smaller than 16 feet. News Channel East Janet Jones joins us now live near the Dunedin Causeway this morning. So Janet, this could impact a lot of people. Gail, it's certainly one. I think so many people live here so they can have such easy access to these great waterways that are literally in our backyard. So if you have a canoe, a paddleboard, even a small sailboat, this could really impact you. Later today, a citizens panel formed by the state will meet to talk about what a registration system might look like. Citizens of Members of the panel have suggested a small fee between $10 and $20. That money would provide to maintain water access, canoe trails, and signage, maps, and charts. Since there are many kayak rental companies around here, some board members are proposing rental sites pay a flat permitting fee instead of a fee for each boat. At this point, this is simply an idea. This would have to go through registration before any fees could be collected. But right now, people do not like this idea. They like to take their kayaks and paddle boards out for free, and that's why a lot of people have those hobbies to enjoy those waterways. So again, this idea is something that is not liked by a lot of people, Gail. Yeah, and we're always encouraging people to get out, get physical, and that's a great sport to do, all of those. And I hope it doesn't deter people from doing and getting out. Thanks so much, Jana.